the difference between the suspensory wrap and the tendon wrap is really just about length. So I honestly really prefer to use the suspensory wrap most of the time. I have the suspensory wrap here. They're all labeled left or right. So we've got a left one here. And what you're gonna wanna remember about this one is that the landing strips or the attachment pad for the ice packs is actually in kind of an L shape and you're gonna want four ice packs for one of these wraps. And the L shape, you're gonna put two in kind of a horizontal position and two in more of a vertical position here. Again, I like to think about it as an inner wrap here with the ice and then our outer sleeve. And so when I'm putting this on, I focus on the inner wrap first and getting that as smoothed out as possible. You also want to remember that you don't have to be perfect in applying this, like it doesn't have to, to be completely um, seamless. Every leg is going to be a little bit different and every horse's comfort is going to be a little different for what they're um, best suited for. The ice packs back here are going to go towards the back of the leg and these go to ice the, the pastern region. And then I like to put this middle one on first so I get that guy tight. And then I come down and fix my pastern packs as well. And again, there's some shifting just like here. Um, and then once you have that inner layer, how you want it, again, we've got nice ice and compression along the back and also the pastern region. Then I go ahead um, and put in the smooth outer layer. So I like to, to kind of start at the top and work my way to the bottom. You can start in the middle and go up or down. Um, it really doesn't matter, but you just want to get a nice smooth fit there. So we've got ice and compression being applied again to all of the back flexor tendons, the suspensory ligament, the suspensory ligament branches, and then down here we've got all of our pastern region structures. So that's how I like to apply the ice horse suspensory wrap.